Hello friend, I am Ankur Gupta. Today, I'm showing the Bol7 WhatsApp business API platform for you. Let's get started and I'll explain how it works. As I have already done, I'm logging in with the user Bol7, entering the password and I have logged into this account. You can see here, this is the first dashboard. In the dashboard, you can see the numbers for sent, delivered, read and failed along with how many were sent today, how many failed, how many were read, everything is visible in a sort of graph here. Next, let's come to channels. Let's understand what channels are. A channel is one where we have registered our business portfolio in Meta and verified a number there. That number, channel, is connected here through this platform. The channel's number will be shown here and the display name of the channel will be shown here. The quality rating of the channel is currently green. You can see that displayed here. The status connected means it is connected through Meta. The display name is what shows up to the client when you send a message, whether it's a bulk message, promotional message, authentication message, or utility message. This display name is shown to the client. Now let's go to templates. You'll see a lot of templates here that are already verified by Meta. You'll see the template ID, the template name, for example, influencer or whatever you named it in Meta. The category will appear here, whether it's marketing, utility, authentication, etc. The status shows whether it's approved or rejected. The language is shown here. The header indicates if it's an image with a caption, a video with a caption, or a document with a caption. In the body, whatever content you've written in the caption will appear here. Under action, once you select a template, you can select your channel, type in the phone number, and send the template. For example, if I select this template and send it to my own number, a message will appear on my phone. You can check the status in the report section. It usually takes one or two minutes to update. Chat report. Next, in the chat report, whatever campaign you have run, any conversation with a client or messages that the client sends to you, everything will show up here. You can also filter these by date range. Yesterday, last seven days, or a custom date range. You can download the report in Excel from here as well. Keywords. In keywords, you can set up auto reply messages or a flow based on specific words or phrases a user sends. For example, if someone sends, hi, you can decide what reply should be sent automatically. If someone says, thanks, you can decide what reply goes out. You do that here by clicking add new, then selecting your channel, typing the keyword, example, welcome, and choosing how to reply, button reply, text reply, list reply, image reply with caption, video reply with caption, document reply with caption, and so on. For example, I have already created some keywords for my channel. If I send hi from my phone, I immediately get a welcome message in response, showing me what products or services we provide. If I click on an option like business API, politics campaign, call center, etc. It continues the flow. It might ask, are you already a customer? Yes or no. If I answer yes, then I get another message and so on. This is how you create a complete flow. You can create multiple keywords and multiple flows. Interval messages. Interval messages are useful if you've run a campaign and people reply to you. For instance, someone replies hi and you don't see it or don't manually reply. Maybe an auto reply went out. If you still want to continue the conversation with the client manually, keep in mind that Meta locks the conversation after 24 hours if you haven't responded. Once that 24 hour window has passed, you can't send any more messages manually to that number unless the client messages you again. To deal with this, we have interval messages. Go to add new, type a campaign name, e.g. XYZ, select the channel, and set it so that after 23 hours of no reply, it automatically sends a reminder message, whether it's a button reply, text reply, image, or anything else you choose. Just create it here. Of course, you should have your flow or reply messages set up. User management and live chat. If you have multiple salespersons handling chats, you can create multiple users for them. For example, I have created a user named Anil. He logs in with the username Anil Bansal, phone number such and such active and with permissions to see the client's number. When he logs in, he will see all the conversations for that channel. For instance, if I sent hi from my phone and got an auto response, it will be visible to Anil. 
If the salesperson finishes chatting with the client and needs to update the admin, they can click the ticket icon, type a note, like meeting scheduled today at 10.30 a.m., and then click cut or save. Back on the company panel, in the leads option, all these notes become visible. You'll see the phone number, the channel used, the assigned user, and the description, like meeting scheduled at 10.30 a.m., along with date and time, wallet history. In wallet history, you can see your credits, how many credits were used, how many were refunded, etc., all by date. You can see refund service and so on. API Sender. In API Sender, you can create an API so that any external software can send WhatsApp messages via this platform. Select your channel, type your sender number, and save. Once it's enabled, you'll see methods for Get API and Post API. You can integrate this into your CRM, your sign-up process, your billing software, attendance software, or anywhere you want an automated WhatsApp message to go out. For example, whenever a new entry appears in a Google Sheet. Error codes. Lastly, if you go to reports and see that some messages have failed, you can see the error codes at the end. Copy the error code and look it up in error code. For example, if you open the record and see that the message to a certain number failed, there will be a reason listed. By checking that error code in this section, you can find out the exact reason the message did not reach the client.